हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टूडेज टॉपिक इट इज पॉपुलेशन इंट्रैक्शन आई एम गोइंग टू बिगिन द लेक्चर विथ अ कॉमन ऑब्जर्वेशन डैट इज इन नेचर नो ऑर्गेनिज्म वेदर इट इज अ प्लांट एनिमल और एनी माइक्रोब कैनॉट लिव इन आइसोलेशन they have to interact with each other for existence now this interaction it could be among the individuals or between the individuals of the same species and such kind of interactions it is known as intraspecific okay and when the interaction it takes place among the individuals or between the individuals of two different species then that interaction is known as interspecific interactions broadly interspecific interactions they are of three types okay one is beneficial other one detrimental or you can say harmful type of interaction and the third one is neutral in neutral neither the individuals or organisms they are harmed uh, nor benefited in beneficial type of interactions both the organisms they get benefited and in negative or in harmful or detrimental kind of interactions both the individuals they have a negative impact now i will discuss all of them uh, one by one for a clear understanding let's we have two species species a and species b okay when both the species they get benefit with an interaction such type of interaction is known as beneficial and it is having certain types one is mutualism symbiosis and proto cooperation i will discuss all of these in uh, sequence firstly mutualism in mutualism both the species they are getting benefited okay and it is um, interspecific type of interactions in the beginning of lecture i have cleared it to you that these type of interactions they are only interspecific interactions and example of mutualism is gut bacteria and human being human beings they provide a shelter to gut bacteria and also nutrition and in return human beings they they are getting vitamins from the gut bacteria second type is symbiosis in symbiosis both the species species a and species b they are getting benefited okay and one thing is very important over here that both the species they remain in close proximity and if we isolate both the species both the species they will die example is is very common and you have been reading it since your 8th standard yes rhizobium bacterium and pea plant the bacteria rhizobium it fixes atmospheric nitrogen for the pea plant and in return pea plant provides shelter to this bacteria next type of interaction is proto cooperation in proto cooperation both the species they are getting benefited with the interaction but point to remember that, that is they can live well when they are isolated this is a big difference between proto cooperation and symbiosis and the example for this type of interaction is a plover bird and crocodile plover feeds on the leech 
parasitic leech with which are present in between the teeth of crocodile okay and crocodile it gets rid of blood sucking parasite next type of interaction it is commensalism in this type of interaction only one species is getting benefited and the other one is remaining neutral that means it is neither getting any benefit nor harmed okay and example is epiphytes that are growing on walnut tree i guess you people have seen often that on the walnut tree there is a bunch of green plants and that is actually epiphyte epiphyte is getting shelter and nutrition from the walnut tree but a walnut tree is neither getting harmed nor benefited competition is such type of interaction where organisms they strive for the resources and resources they can be space light water shelter and even mate in this type of interaction both the individuals they are actually harmed because they have to compete for the resources and in this competition two things are happening okay there are two possibilities one is competitive exclusion or competitive coexistence in first one that is competitive exclusion one species it gets removed from that area for example when goats they were introduced in galapagos island okay what happened the abandoned tortoise they got removed from that area so this is competitive exclusion okay that means one species they have to leave the area and other is competitive coexistence what is happening over here species they are getting adapted to live together they are sharing the resources they are changing their feeding habits or they are changing the foraging timings okay i will give you example darwin has found 14 type of finches okay in galapagos island this is these islands are actually it is a group of small islands uh, it's present in pacific ocean okay and what is ha- what happened over there that all the finches they coexisted because they developed different feeding habits next is predation in predation one species is getting benefited while the other is getting negative impacts the species which is getting benefit is known as predator and the other one which is having a negative impact is known as prey example is for predator there is tiger and for prey we have deer next one is parasitism in parasitism again one species it is getting benefit while the other is having detrimental effect that means negative effect take a example of human leech okay it feeds on our blood and in return we are losing our blood and also we are infested by different diseases the last type of interaction is amansalism in amansalism what is happening one species it is getting negative impact and other is in, not affected take a common example of walnut okay it secretes a chemical that is known as juglone it is toxic for other plants 
and usually you have seen that the area around the walnut tree is usually barren no grass or plants can grow over there this is because of this chemical okay and our walnut tree it remains ineffected so with this i have completed this chapter uh, lesson if you have any doubt you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com